going above and beyond to save a life. 30 Albertans were honored for doing just that here at Edmonton Police Headquarters. Once I found out I was getting an award, I thought, you know what, I just want to make that the day that I can try and walk without any assistance with a cane or anything like that. Being able to walk without any supports is a big moment for Stephen Arruda. It's been one year since he was shot in the leg when a gunman opened fire on a crowd on the Vegas Strip. 58 people were killed, 500 were injured, making it one of the deadliest mass shootings in American history. And I thought, you know, I'm this is it. I'm not going to make it out just because I've never obviously been in a situation where there have been gunfire surrounding me. So, you know, it was pretty scary at the start, but once, you know, the adrenaline kicks in and the will just to get out of there, it was, you know, that took over and I made it to the medical tent and ended up getting to a hospital in Las Vegas. Aruda was recognized Monday for helping several people escape during the shooting. He, along with 29 other Albertans, were honoured at the Royal Canadian Humane Association Bravery Awards. From rescuing people from drowning and burning buildings to intervening to save someone from a violent encounter, all these recipients were acknowledged for their heroic efforts. Well, you listen to those stories and they just resonate with you and I have to be honest, they kind of got a little emotional about a couple of those stories because those, those folks put themselves at great personal risk, risk to help their fellow Albertans, and it's, it's quite phenomenal. People like Officer Michael Chernick. It was September last year when the constable was working traffic near Commonwealth Stadium when he was struck by a vehicle and attacked by the driver with a knife. Chernick was able to fight the man off even though he was injured and stopped him from taking his gun from his holster so the suspect couldn't hurt anyone else. So it is a mirror because uh, you get struck by a car uh, at high speed and then you're stabbed at least three times uh, where it actually uh, penetrates your skin and he has the wherewithal to call in the call to get up to protect his weapon uh, and make the decision to shoot or don't shoot and the right decision was not to shoot and he made that uh, right decision while blood's pouring into his eyes. Uh, just amazing. I'm, I'm always amazed by that. For Aruda, the physical scars have begun to heal but the internal ones may always be there. For a couple of weeks, you just, you know, you deal with nightmares and obviously post-traumatic uh, stress disorder. And you, you know, I've had to speak to uh, counsellors and psychologists just to guide your way through. From Edmonton, Cheryl Tisaskew, City News.